When I came here yesterday, there was a security check. There's actually metal detectors at the door. Yes, Kodio. Yes, I don't have that. No, allowed. I'm not allowed to come in? No. But I'm not sure. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm heading to the mall right now. It's a beautiful day in Istanbul. The mall is about four minutes walk away from my house, which is very handy. It's called Pelican Mall. Let's go and investigate. When I came here yesterday, there was a security check. There's actually metal detectors at the door when you walk into the mall. There are two security guards that are putting your bag through a scanner, almost like an airport security checkpoint. Let's go and see what that's all about. There's a bloody queue to get into the mall. I've never seen that in my life. Let's see what they're checking for. They're obviously checking for weapons or... I have no idea what they could be checking for. Drugs, who knows? I'm worried about the fact that they may not allow me in with my camera, but um, I'll give it a try anyway. I'll actually leave my camera on. I don't know what this is. What do you want from me? I have no idea what you want from me, my friend. Yes, Kodio. Yes, I don't have that. No, allowed. I'm not allowed to come in? No. But I'm not Turkish. Yes, Kodio. <laughs> Can I talk to somebody else? Right, I want to talk to somebody. Can I talk to somebody else? Hello, I don't, I don't have an S code, I'm not Turkish, I don't know. Passport, I have my ID. I'm from Irlanda. Sorry? My passport is at home. This is my, I am from Irlanda. It's no good? I can't go in? Seriously? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm sure you guys saw that. I got refused entry into the mall because I didn't have something called an S code which is some sort of Turkish identification. The guy wasn't much help, so I talked to the girl instead and she asked me for my passport. I told her that I didn't have my passport on me and that I had my Irish ID. And she said, that's not gonna be enough. She needs my passport. So I've never heard of anything like that before. I don't know what that's about, but uh, I'm gonna head back to the apartment, which is just like four minutes walk anyway. I'm gonna get my passport and uh, <laughs> hopefully I could just do a bit of shopping. So I was wondering if that S code thing is so important, then why wasn't I given one? Maybe at the airport or when I bought my plane tickets. I'm not sure how that works, but I've never been asked to produce an S code when I was in Bodrum or Izmir. So this is all a bit strange for me, but let's get the passport and, and play ball. Okay, so I just left the apartment and what I've come up with is that it's not called S code, it's called HES code rather. That's H-E-S. 
which stands for Hayat Eve Cigar. I've probably butchered that, but that's Turkish. So I figured I need to understand exactly what that means, right? So I put it in Google Translate and it came up with Life Home Smoking. That was obviously lost in translation. Anyway, on further investigation, I understand that uh, the HES code is a Ministry of Health Turkish thing where they track the people who are either negative or positive so that uh, they can either use or not use or not be able to use public transport or entry into large shopping areas like malls. So that's why they're scanning people. Now, if somebody's HES code did get scanned, let's say in the mall, and they turned up positive, I'm not sure if they are not going to be allowed to go in. When I realized it was HES code, it rang a bell and I remembered that I actually got a HES code when I bought my ticket. But I totally forgot about it because I wasn't asked to present it in any way over the last two months. Uh, this is the first time they're asking me for it. So I did a bit of digging in my emails and I actually found it. <laughs> I found the HES code. I think it's the HES code. I hope it's the HES code. It's actually a screenshot. It doesn't say HES code, but Google actually says that the HES code is 10 to 12 digits long and my code is 10 digits long. So I'm guessing that that is the HES code. But we're gonna find out now anyway. If that is not it, then I have my passport just in case. I'm not sure if that's my house code. Okay. Is that okay? Okay, well that worked. I've got my house code. <laughs> I had no idea. That lady behind me, she was uh, she was pushing in front of me like so rude, man. Speaking in Turkish, trying to get me out of the way. I was trying to put my stuff down in order to go through the scanner, and uh, and she kept aggressively trying to get in front of me like what the hell is that all about anyway guys I'm in the mall that was a rather stressful experience I thought shopping in a mall was supposed to be a pleasant experience but uh, there you go it is what it is <laughs> 